everyone, my name is Miss Rebecca and welcome back to Storycraft. Today we're going to be reading a fun little book called Looking for Jumbi by Tracy Baptiste. So let's get right into it. Come to bed now, Naya, Mama said. It's getting dark. I'm not scared, Naya said. Of what? Jumbies. Oh no, her mama said laughing, but they come out at night when the moon is bright to find little ones like you. This moon is perfect for finding jumbies, Naya said. This moon is perfect for sleeping, and jumbies are only in stories, Mama added. For true, Naya said. For true, Mama said. I'm looking for a jumbie. I'm going to find a scary one. No such things, whispered a voice from the trees. There are two, Naya said. They come out at night when the moon is bright. It's the perfect time to find one. What does a jumbie look like? The voice asked. Dolan are very small, said Naya, with backward feet and a great big mouth. Like you. Everyone's mouth is big when they yawn, said the small someone. Well, that's true, Naya said. Maybe I should check behind that tree. Good idea. Want to help? Naya asked. We're looking for a jumbie. We're going to find a scary one. A jumbie? Those aren't real, said a creaky voice in the trees. Oh, yes they are, Naya said. They come out at night when the moon is bright. It's the perfect time to find one. Tell me about them, the voice creaked. Lagahoo have thick fur and sharp teeth and chains around their necks. Like you. Well, it's just good sense to wear something shiny when it's dark out, said the tall fellow. Maybe you're right, Naya said. I'm going to try across this field. Good idea. Will you come along? asked Naya. We're looking for a jumbie. We're going to find a scary one. I've never heard of those, sang a sweet voice. Well, listen then, Naya said. They come out at night when the moon is bright. It's the perfect time to find one. What do they do, the voice sang. So koyans fly around in the dark with skin as bright as flame. Like you. Everyone looks bright in the moonlight, said the woman. Hmm, I suppose so, Naya said. I think I'll look over that hill. Good idea. Would you like to join us, Naya asked. We're looking for a jumbie. We're going to find a scary one. I think you've made that up, rumbled a voice from the hills. No, sir, Naya said. They come out at night when the moon is bright. It's the perfect time to find one. How would I know if I saw one, the voice rumbled. Papa boys have feet like a goat, horns on his head, and a tangly hair filled with leaves. Like you. You'd have messy hair too if you walked through the bush, said their very large friend. I guess that's a good point, Naya said. How about I check over the river? Good idea. You can come too, said Naya. We're looking for a jumbie. We're going to find a scary one. How will you do that, said a bubbly voice from the river. Don't, don't you know, asked Naya. They come out at night when the moon is bright. It's the perfect time to find one. What are they like, the voice asked. Mama Delo lives in the water and has a long snake tail and pretty coils in her hair. Like you. Thank you. I like your hair too, said the lady. I'll look here. You search that little house. That's my house, you know, Naya said. Want to see? Mama says jumpies are only in stories, Naya said. For true, the lady said, yawning. For true. but you can't believe everything you hear in stories. 
Look at them. Do you think she found all the jumbies? I think they weren't as scary as the ones that she was expecting. So that was looking for a jumbie. And welcome to the craft portion of today's story craft. So jumbies, like you saw in the book, are creatures from Caribbean folklore similar to fairies or trolls. And I'm not really basing my little creatures off of any particular um, Caribbean folklore creatures. I'm just kind of being creative with it and uh, making my little creature however I want to make him. So he or she or they are yours to make as you please according to your creativity. Um, so all I used for this craft was um, a toilet paper roll, some pipe cleaners, some tape, um, various colored paper, and some googly eyes, as well as, of course, some scissors. And I did use a little glue this time, even though I know I'm famous for my tape. <laughs> so I'm starting by wrapping my toilet paper roll in a piece of colored construction paper. So I used red in my prototype, and so I decided to use a different color here, so I went with blue. And in order to cut it out, I just sort of really loosely wrapped the paper around the toilet paper roll and just gently bent the edges so that I got a sense of where I needed to cut the paper. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you can always cut it down some more once you start wrapping it around the toilet paper roll. So once I've got it all wrapped up, I'm just going to tape down the edges. So next I'm going to make my little sort of fluffy hat for my little guy here. Um, so what I did was I took another piece of the same blue construction paper and I just cut out little strips. Um, and I didn't cut all the way down, I just cut part way down. And then I'm going to roll those strips around a pen. So I just used this Sharpie to roll up my little strips to sort of curl them outwards. And so I decided to make another little two-tiered hat, just like in the prototype. So I'm taking another lighter blue piece of paper and I'm cutting little strips into that as well. And then I'm going to curl them around a pen as well. I'm just kind of eyeballing how it's gonna look in the end. And since I, I like how that's gonna look, I'm gonna start wrapping it up. And as you can see, I cut a little bit too long, so I'm just gonna cut some edges off. There, perfect. So now that I've got that, I'm gonna tape that down, and then I'll wrap around my, my little second tier.
and tape it down. And now we have your little creature's fluffy hat or hair, however you want to look at it. So for this little guy, I decided to give them just one really big eye, kind of like a cyclops. And because it was so big, I didn't need glue like I did for my prototype. So I just rolled up a piece of tape and stuck down the eye. Perfect. Now I'm just going to make my little guy a mouth. And I honestly just sort of eyeballed this as I went. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with the mouth. And I ended up making a little bean shape instead of the big O like I did for my prototype. And I thought this would be kind of fun. Makes my little guy look like they're smiling. And since we have the smile going on, I also thought I'd make it a little tongue. So I found a little scrap of pink paper and cut out a little tongue. So for this, because the piece of paper was too small to use any tape on, I used a teeny little bit of glue. And once I got it on there, I cleaned up my edges. And then I brought my tape back and I attached the mouth. Perfect. Now all that's left is the arms. So for this, you might need a grown-up's help. It's a little bit difficult to get the hole through the toilet paper tube. So I used a smaller pair of scissors because I wanted a smaller hole. And just very gently and very consistently, I used it and wiggled it and wiggled it and wiggled it until I made a teeny little hole in the side of the toilet paper tube. And it really doesn't need to be big at all. It just needs to be enough to start poking through the other side of the toilet paper tube. Because all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick a pipe cleaner in there. And pipe cleaners are very tiny, so you do not need a big hole. I'm just going to use one half of the pipe cleaner for one arm and one half for the other arm. And to make sure it was attached, I bent down a little bit on the inside and then I used a piece of tape to tape it down. And that's it. Your little creature is done. And feel free to be as creative as you wanna be with this. You can use any colors or shapes or designs that you wanna use on your little creature. Um, as you can see, both of my little creatures are totally different and I encourage you to be as creative as you can be. And that is it for today's Storycraft. Thank you for joining me and hopefully I will see you next week. Bye-bye.